Local 10's Alex Finney is live in Pembroke Pines to begin our team coverage. Alex. Well, Nicole and Calvin, Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to be here at this mobile testing site in under an hour. We're at CB Smith Park. We're right now, as you can see, first responders from different municipalities, they're driving through to get tested. But I do want to make a point that this site does not officially open to the public until tomorrow. We have 100 National Guard members that will be working five lanes with the goal of being able to test hundreds of people a day. And as the governor said, this site is so important because it could be used as a model for the state going forward. Broward Health opening their first mobile testing unit in Pompano Beach. 300 people a day will be able to get tested right here. The first person being swabbed for COVID-19 just a short time ago. No pop-ups. You have to schedule an appointment. Over at Cleveland Clinic of South Florida and Weston, no appointment necessary for their drive through testing, which also opened Thursday. I was texting a person whose FaceTime doctor told her she most likely has the virus, but testing for her is not available because she's not elderly, does not have underlying health issues, even though she fears her symptoms could get worse. The CDC guidelines for those that qualify for testing are so specific, and that's why the pressure is on to distribute testing kits rapidly and get drive through testing rolling quickly. You hear the vice president, some of them talking about the new way to test where you can do mass volumes that's supposed to start on friday if that does then we you know we'll use our labs here but we could swab 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 send hopefully really large amounts to the private labs and then get results relatively uh, quickly Quickly, quickly, quickly is the name of the game here. So in South Florida, there are three drive up sites running. We have South Miami, Weston and Pompano Beach with two more on the way. We have Miami Gardens over in Hard Rock Stadium. That's in the works. And then here at CB Smith Park, where a mobile hospital is being built as well. And as the governor had said, 2,500 testing kits were, have been distributed with the ability to conduct 625,000 some odd tests. We are standing by for the governor uh, who's going to be here in just under an hour. We have a lot of questions to ask him about how this drive through testing is going to work from start to finish. All of that's going to be answered for us. I'll be back live with you guys a little bit later on with those answers. We are live in Pepper Pines. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. Okay, we'll check back in with you soon. Thanks a lot there.